So if you've been subscribed to me in the past few months, then you would know how I feel about people catching predators, specifically Vitaly. If there was one person who was doing more to help the pedo community without even trying, it's the recovering drug addict himself. He has been told multiple times by both Florida and California police that he needs to stop doing this or at least call them beforehand so they can make the proper arrest. But Vitaly doesn't actually care about anyone getting arrested. He doesn't care about taking pedos off the street to make sure they never do this again. He doesn't even care that eventually he's going to get arrested for this. And best believe when he does, he's going to turn everything around on himself and start saying, I was arrested for trying to catch pedos, how dare they? And it's like, yeah, but you left out the part where you had the fattest one put on gloves and have an unwanted boxing match with you. You ever gonna do this again? No. Now he might say all of this, but that's just so his chat who's filled with actual fucking idiots thinks what he's doing is good. Anyone who isn't slow, mentally deficient, lacking knowledge, whatever you want to call it, can see that what Vitaly is doing is actually more pathetic than just letting the guy walk away. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, ever since Vitaly started streaming on Kick, he figured out that he could still put out the same kind of content he was used to without the restrictions of YouTube's rules, which basically means the use of physical violence can now be shown as long as you do it before the police show up. And when I say physical violence, I don't just mean smacking the dude around for a little bit. I'm talking about using leashes, pushing dudes into babies, wearing a maid outfit, trying to yank this dude away from Target like this doesn't look like he's about to get gang raped. And if you haven't noticed, none of these are techniques that Chris Hansen has used. And I still don't know who he is, but this emaciated white guy that he works with on these kinds of videos needs to be arrested also. He's the one who is actually in contact with the Predators and gets them to meet up wherever Vitaly says just so we can get that street justice. Which, if he got them arrested afterwards, would make everything a whole lot different. But the reality of each of these catch and releases he's doing is that even if the cops get there, let's just say the guy who they tried to beat up isn't that messed up and is able to tell the cops right then and there that he was assaulted unprovoked and you recorded the whole thing. It doesn't matter if that guy sent you a hundred dick pics, they're going to arrest you. And like I said, he's been told this by two different police forces in the only states he's done this in. Even being stopped by police on his way to meet up with another predator, being told to stop only to go and try and catch another predator. And what's really dumb is that before Vitaly gets involved, the kid he's working with has enough evidence to get the person arrested. They're like, I've been messaging this guy for days now and he's down to meet up anywhere. Look, he even sent me a picture of his dog's asshole. He's a freak. And then Vitaly's like, perfect. And instead of taking that to the police, they let Vitaly ruin what is 100% an arrest worthy situation. One time they even had a predator tell them to meet outside their apartment where their roommate was sleeping upstairs. But instead they chose to shave this guy's head, pretend they were taking him to Mexico, make him do the hot chip challenge, then feel bad for him and let him go home? Yeah, I'm a good guy, bro. I didn't have to give you this. I care about you. I feel bad for you. You care about him? Now, not calling the police is one thing, but the fact that you didn't make him bring you up to his place so we can admit to his roommate what he was doing shows that you don't care what happens to these people. His excuse for not wanting to call the police is that someone is going to recognize them. He is so sure that every predator he encounters is going to get recognized when only one out of the five he encounters gets clipped and reposted. And even then, if you don't follow Drama Alert, chances are you're not going to be following any of the other accounts that repost it. And even if someone does recognize one of the people on stream, do you know how easy it is to play this off as a joke and that this was all staged. Sure, people might think it's weird at first, but by the time this happens to someone else, you can be like, see, this happens to everyone, not just me. Even Aiden Ross, who was with Vitaly during one of these streams, had to backtrack and explain himself to XQC when he calls out how stupid this is. I think, I think it's still L because it's like, you're like a vigilante, you're like the judge, jury, executioner, you do it on stream. I think it's, it's just an odd thing to do. I don't like it. I don't endorse it. I think it's stupid. I feel you. Um, I think... Because the reason why I was going to say was, not chat, you got to understand what he's saying. I did this too, right? And I think doing it live, it, it could be tricky. Because you know what sucks ass about this situation? Technically, if he wants, this guy wants to, he could press charges on this guy. Yeah, that's what I'm, that's what I'm And that's me. letting a pedophile like walk, you so, know? So, so, so I'm telling you, some guys doing something bad, right? And then you do something bad. And I get, I get you think it's linked, right? But in the eyes of the law and also like in general, like, these things, it's just two things. It's not like one thing. Now it goes without saying, but if these two even realize how dumb this is, then you have to reevaluate your whole situation. Here's a clip of them talking from the same stream. Um, so why specifically do you not want to go to Jamaica? Oh no, because it's far. No, it's not. Yeah. It's an hour and a half flight. Wait, really? <laughs> yes. Bro, I thought, I thought, I thought, and we're taking a PJ. You'll get, you'll feel, it'll feel bro, like you're I in a car. I was in Africa. 
Well, I'm pretty sure there's Africans that live there, but no, it's not in Africa. Oh, maybe I'm, uh, I'm mixing with Madagascar. Yeah, you are. Put these two in front of a TV and have them watch Ancient Aliens like Action Bronson did, and you got yourself a show right there. Oh, man. That's okay. A, just a sword. Okay. <laughs> Which brings us to his latest stream. For this one, he teamed up with the guy who likes to brag about being banned from every casino, and it's like, man, that's the perfect guy to help you with this. And of course, the usual happens. He meets up with them, then assaults the shit out of them, and then moves on to the next guy. I wish I could have told you he did something different this time, but sadly, he has not learned his lesson from any of his mistakes. But there was one part of the stream, or it was another stream, I don't know, it was one of these streams where these guys were together, but there was one clip that was posted on Twitter where it had the caption, XQC gets called a pedophile sympathizer on Vitality. Tally stream. And you know, you know what's even crazier? That they're sympathizers. There's pedophile sympathizers. Sim what is that? Okay, I need that new word, sympathizers. It means like uh, they feel bad for, so they side with. Yeah. So like, for example, here's a hypothetical. Let's say yesterday, pretend, right? Because this obviously never happened. Let's yeah. pretend that yesterday we went and caught a predator. Okay. And let's pretend that predator pushed you and then my bodyguard came and smacked the life out of him, right? Yeah. Let's pretend. The sympathizer would be the person who got on a live stream and said, I don't think they should have hit him because that pedophile could get hurt. Mm. Right? Like, that would be a pedophile sympathizer. And who said that? that that's the person that said I'm that? I'm not saying that anybody said that, but that's an example of what a, a, a pedophile sympathizer would do. Yeah. Somebody who wants to protect the pedophiles, which is just as bad as the pedophile themselves. That would be Mickey, bro. Straight to the facts. Yeah, man. I mean, it's facts. I had no idea what the word sympathizer meant before this, but man, it's facts. You got all the answers, right, Mickey? Straight to the facts. I mean, I thought those tattoos were just for show, but you got... You showed me you got some knowledge under those ugly motherfuckers. That's coming from me. Talk about one of the dumbest fucking arguments anyone has tried to make. No one is saying you shouldn't hit them because they could get hurt. They don't want you hitting them because then there goes any chance of that guy actually going to jail. Who's really sympathizing with pedophiles here? The guy who's letting the pedophiles go away for views? Or the people who want you to do this the right way? There's a reason this guy is known for gambling and not saying profound things. He's a fucking loser. Sooner or later, the wrong person is going to see him beating up someone and call the cops on him. And trust me, when that happens, we are never going to hear the end of it and how he was arrested for doing a good thing. Nothing of what you're doing is good. The fact that they are predators is bad. But none of what you're doing can be considered good solely that you make it impossible for the guy to actually get arrested. Defeating the whole purpose of your stream. You're, it's called... What is it? It's called... Hold on, let me, let me check. Let me check it for y'all. His stream is called Vitaly Catching Child Predators. And catch means, let me look that up for you. Catch means to intercept and hold. Or capture. Or an act of catching someone. Typically a ball, a device. Didn't do any of that. I can't wait to see who he has help him next. And I can't wait for that stream where he gets arrested. Until then, see you guys tomorrow. Peace.